Hello everyone, this is Olivia aka Story Minded and I'm here to do the um, sarcastic writing tag which looks like a lot of fun. Um, no, genuinely it does, it does look like fun. Um, I saw Jenna the Dark Ones video so when I get a chance to, because I know on other videos I still need to do this as well, I will tag her because that's the one that I saw and I thought this looks awesome, I'm going to do it. So for my answers. I'll try and be as sarcastic as I can, but obviously this may not necessarily reflect my views or anything. Um, I quite enjoy writing characters that have sort of like a comedic, sarcastic tone. So we'll see how this goes. And if I look really drained, I did a uh, presentation for um, my counselling evening course that I'm doing. I'm like learning counselling skills and stuff. And yeah... Let's just say it was revisiting a very dark time of my life, um, so it was incredibly hard and I practiced it and I didn't expect to cry, but I cried in front of people and it was, but I managed, I was so determined to get through it and I managed to get through it, so yeah, so I feel quite emotionally drained because that only happened last night. Anyway, on to the actual tag. So question one, what would you be doing if you, oh no, 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 no this one where does your writing inspiration come from first off I don't like the word inspiration it's not inspiration I prefer the term muse where does my muse come from oh my muse comes from many places but there's this thing that we all have inside our heads although I don't think every single human can access it fully um, there's this thing called a brain, and when you think about things with your brain, sometimes these thoughts manifest into writing. You should try it sometime. Um, and also, I don't actually fully know where my muse comes from, because aside from my brain, I also hear voices, and the voices dictate and tell me what to write. And this is actually a real life example. The other day I haven't like done any poetry in ages and suddenly out of nowhere I got a line in my head um, the day the earth went still and this poem just came so maybe it's the writer gods who knows like the old writers the published beautiful classic writers who came before us maybe they send down their wisdom Question number two, what would you be doing if you weren't writing? I don't know, I'd probably be not, ex I, actually no, I would be living my life. I would be existing and I'd probably be a lot more active in the sense of going out and meeting new people, potentially, I don't know though. So either that or I just, either I would be living my life or I just wouldn't be existing, I'd just be depressed pretty much. What is your greatest fear as a writer? I don't fear anything as a writer, to be honest. Well, I guess my greatest fear would be to never, ever, ever get published. Although I've been lucky enough to already be published, so I don't think that's an issue for me. I don't really know where fear comes from with writing. I mean, I love it. I find it so relaxing. So maybe people who fear writing need to chill. Um, what is your number one writing tip? Write. It's quite obvious, but seriously, write. You'd be amazed at the number of people who procrastinate and never actually write something because they fear whatever they fear. So yeah, that's my one writing tip. Just write. Doesn't matter what you write, what genre, what form, just write. Because the more you write, the better you'll become at it. And then soon it'll be as natural as breathing and you're on your way. How do you feel about editing? Once again, I really don't get how people hate the editing process. I personally love the editing process. I live for the editing process because I view it as just making my work stronger. I really enjoy editing. I love editing, so, you know, I don't really get why people hate it so much. Maybe I'm just a really optimistic person. Where do you do your best writing? 
in this glorious space vacuum around me in my bedroom locked away from all humanity obviously and final question where do you see your writing in 10 years I have two I have two ideas one is I won't have a writing career in 10 years because who knows the publishing industry is really hard to break into and if no one likes my work I won't get published and I may just still be writing random pieces of writing which I'm quite happy to do I honestly don't care or in 10 years I can see myself winning lots of awards my books will be in all of the bookshops around the world I'm talking international here and I'd attend writer conventions and I'd deliver panels about my writing and I'd be able to interact with my fans and it'd be great so anyway, that was the sarcastic writing tag. And I think I was just basically trying to channel Celeste. Because my character, my OC, she can be really sarcastic. So I was basically just channeling her. Um, so if you want to have a go, feel free to have a go. It's quite fun. It's quite. I feel very relaxed channeling a really sort of egotistical, narcissistic person, persona, for doing sarcasm. So anyway, if you want to have a go, feel free to have a go, and I'll see you in another video. Peace out.